Jungle, jungle Prowlers and uh, Strike Fury. Got an interesting question for you today. Uh, the question is, who would you prefer, Maurice Purify or Jerome Simpson? Okay. Now I'm going to say who I pick, but I want what I want is people to send a uh, comment, whether it's in my inbox or leave a comment on my page, as to who they would prefer to have on their team. You don't even have to have a reason why. You can just say the name if that's all you want to do. Uh, or you can actually do a video for, about it. Uh, this debate is one of the things that seems to go on on Jungle Noise. If you go into uh, CincinnatiBengals.com to their message board, Jungle Noise, uh, you'll see a lot of different debates on who should get the, uh, the chance to start over the other, Maurice Purify or Jerome Simpson. Um, now, I also I'll probably have other questions throughout the thing uh, throughout this video, so you can also feel free to comment on those. But uh, I'm actually going to say my, my piece. Here's a little bit of background about both of them. All right, Jerome Simpson was a second-round pick in the 2007 draft, okay? He uh, was actually picked ahead of Andre Caldwell, and a lot of people thought that was the biggest mistake. We reached for him, and we should never have done so. Well, that could, uh, that's actually a valid point. I don't think we should have reached for any player. If uh, we were going to take a wide receiver... At that time, we probably could have gotten Macklin, or um, we could have probably even got a hold of uh, Lima Swede. Now, Swede has been dropping a lot of balls over in Pittsburgh, so a lot of people aren't too upset with us not having him. But, you know, there, we did have other uh, options. Uh, wait, not Macklin, Deshaun Jackson. That's who it was. I, I knew there was an, uh, a player, and it wasn't Macklin. Anyway, Deshaun Jackson. We sh a lot of people think we should have taken him or Eddie Royal, and we didn't take either one of those players. We wind up taking Jerome Simpson, and then with our next pick, we took Andre Caldwell. Now, I think a lot of people are confused as to what Jerome Simpson's role in our uh, on our roster is. I don't think he is supposed to be a starter as of right now. I think he's kind of like insurance as far as we didn't know what was going on with Chad. We didn't know if Chad was wanting to play, if he was going to play. Uh, we didn't even know if we was going to have him have his services at the end of this year. So why not have someone who we can mold to be Chad's replacement? Well, Chad's came out and had a wonderful year, has done a really fine job. So he's kind of stunted his ability to get on the playing, uh, playing field and get playing time. Um, his stats are he's six foot one uh, about six foot six foot one and he's uh, 190 to 200 pounds they actually have him listed as I think six one 295 pounds uh, so I'm fluctuating five pounds either way um, so he's not a big receiver but he's more in the mold of being fast and fluid with his motions so he's the type of guy who's going to get open by running crisp precise routes and He'll beat you with his quickness and his speed. He's not going to beat you uh, by overpowering you. So if, he, uh, if you're trying to get a first down, you throw him at, uh, throw it to him at, with two, uh, uh, in two yards past the line of scrimmage. You're trying to get two, uh, ten yards. Yeah, he's not. He's not that type of receiver. Uh, he may be able to do it from time to time, but he's he's not one that you would want to count on on a consistent basis. Um, but he's basically supposed to be Chad's replacement. And if the day comes that Chad does leave our team, or when the day comes, not really if, when the day comes that he leaves our team, whether it be through uh, free agency or him retiring, then 
that's where Simpson's going to step up and he's going to be the go-to guy. He's going to take Chad's uh, place. Um, and so they're probably working on him to run these routes and everything. So when Chris Henry went down, a lot of people thought he was going to take over the spot of Chris Henry. Well, they're two different type of receivers. Chris Henry is one of those speed uh, speed guys. He doesn't run, really run great routes, but you know he's just very fast and he's tall. Um, he just couldn't take a lot of hits over the middle because he just doesn't like taking hits over the middle. So he throws uh, so. He wasn't. Uh, you couldn't really use Simpson to take his place. Um, Purify, on the other hand, is more adapt to being a Hushmanzada uh, slash Henry hybrid. He doesn't have the speed, the blazing speed that Hushman, uh, not Hushmanzada, but that Henry had. He doesn't have the speed and uh, and the uh, you know the ability to go deep. But he does have a Hushmanzada quality in which. Once he catches the ball, he can fight for that first down and probably get it. So he he'll out muscle you. So there, uh, that's probably why I myself could not decide which one of the two would I actually choose for this uh, for this position. Um, Purify is six foot four, two hundred and twenty to two hundred and thirty pounds. I've said in a previous video he's more in the mold of Andre Johnson, Larry Fitzgerald, Brandon Marshall. Uh, we actually chose him more for his blocking ability since we're more of a run uh, run first team. Use him to block, and we also wanted to use him uh, in the special teams, especially against Cleveland. We wanted to use him in, against Cleveland because Josh Cribbs is always a threat to run the ball back. He can usually beat uh, linebackers, uh, tight ends as well. We wanted somebody who he can't outrun, which is a wide receiver, but is strong enough to be able to take him down, which Purify is able to do. So that is why we actually use Purify right now over Simpson. Now, I want to know who you guys would prefer. Again, I would. I like them both. I, I think they're both. Uh, they both have the potential to be great receivers for us in the future. Uh, it depends on how long Chad wants to stay in the league. I think he wants to stay in for a couple more years, and it depends on if the Bengals want to keep him a part of our team or not. However, I do like the fact that uh, if something was to happen to Chad, we have someone in his mold that could take over. Uh, maybe not as well, but you never, we haven't seen a lot from him, so we don't know how well he's uh, progressed or not. And I think he might actually be a, a secret weapon. Now, here's what I would do personally right now. We have the Detroit Lions coming to town tomorrow. We have uh, probably the worst team when it comes to pass defense. And one of our other receivers, Lavernius Coles, is kind of dinged up. He's not playing at 100%, whether it's a head injury, a chest injury, some type of injury. I prefer, if I was a coach and I was planning out the season, knowing that the chances of, of us beating um, the Detroit Lions, no matter who the wide receiver is, I would per, uh, I think I would rest Coles and say, hey, Coles, Lavernius, you're, you know, we want to use you in the long stretch. We don't want to hurt you in one of these easier games. So I, what I personally would do is I would pl uh, play Chad Ochocinco, Andre Caldwell. Those are my two receivers. Then number three and number four receivers will be uh, would be Maurice Purify and Jerome Simpson. And you know Carson's going to throw to whoever's open if he happens to throw the ball. And with the fact that we've got uh, Masher and Smasher and uh, Cedric Benson and Larry Johnson in the backfield, as well as having uh, Thrasher of uh, you know Brian Leonard, third down uh, our third uh, third down back. I'm not too sure as to how we could lose this game with the way our offensive line has been playing. And I think again, this is an opportunity to put J uh, Jerome Simpson out there in game time, let him run his uh, you know practice running his routes against real opponents. The, so our fans can see, and if he happens to make a, uh, a great catch and you know he beats his man on a regular basis, it would actually shut up a lot of his critics. And we would still be able to use Purify for how we want to use him as far as being the muscling, you know, the type that to muscle his way for first downs, to, uh, the out-muscle type receiver, as well as a special teams ace. So that's my take on the two guys. I want to hear what your takes are. So um, Houdé Nation... 
Jungle Prowlers, and uh, the other one is Striped Fury. I'm going to have to try to get used to uh, Striped Fury. So, you know, fellow Bengal fans, faithful Bengal fans, tell me what you think. I'm Forever Bengals. Who day? I'm out.